guys, it's T from Driftwood Gaming, and I'm here with another tutorial from the Effects Seer series. This is chapter six, and it's called Let's Create Circular Particles. So we're going to do some circular particles here, as the title says. Uh, it does give some files to start with, but we're just going to build it from the ground up. So we're going to start with a basic ring, and to get started, we're just going to go to this Render Settings tab, click Node, and we're going to change Sprite to ring. And um, so I read the tutorial and I tried to understand exactly what it meant by outer ring and inner ring and the best way that I could understand it is that if you imagine this being your ring, like this is the viewpoint you're looking at it, it's kind of like an Oreo cookie and it's got three layers. It's got the outer, the inner, and the center. And you can set the size of the outer and the inner layers and you can change the position of the center. And I'll show you that real quick by just doing a couple couple things. Let's go to easing and change this to negative four and this one to positive four and this to negative four and this to positive four and as you can see it's getting you know like fatter it becomes a cylinder rather than it rather than it being flat so changing the size didn't change it this way it didn't make it bigger or taller but it changed the width of the inner and the outer layer. I don't know which one's inner or outer. I think this one's inner and this one's outer. And then if you want to change the center ratio, you move this around and it'll change, as you can see that moved, um, it'll change where it's positioned on the ring. So let's go back to point, was it point 0.5? Not negative point 0.5, just point 0.5. Right, and that brings it back into the center. So, um, just wanted to overview that a little bit. It's the best I could understand from the tutorial. But we're going to reset this actually and start over to make what the tutorial is describing. So we're going to change this to ring. It says to change outer ring to easing. So we're going to do that. And the settings that we're going to use for this is the start is going to be 1, X, and 2, Y. And the end is going to be 3, X, and 0, Y. Let's hit play so we can see what that looks like. As you can see, it already looks like the one in the tutorial. The other thing that they did is that the, um, the lifetime is only 60 frames, so we're going to change that. And the last thing that we're going to do is go to rotation and change the z-axis to negative 45. Now you'll notice it doesn't actually look like it's doing anything, and that's because it's a circle. So it rotated the position of the circle negative 45 degrees. You really can't see what that looks like until we go to the next step. So the next thing we're going to do is change this to a triangle. And the way we're going to do that is by changing the vertex count. So this this ring is drawn by vertex. So you can see you got like little little flat edges here along the edge of the circle. There's 16 of them. So in order to make this a triangle, we're going to change this to 3. Yay, now we have a triangle. Isn't that cool? Okay, so for the next effect, you'll see we've got like a, a cylindrical swirly smoky kind of thing and we're not going to start this with the file that effects here provides in fact we're just going to build it from the ground up so the first thing that we'll do is press play so we can see our particle and change this to 60 then we'll change the time to live in the basic settings to match okay and then the next thing we want to do is go to the render settings and change sprite to ring now you'll notice that on the tutorial it's lying flat on the grid in this platform here so in order to achieve that we're going to go to rotation and change this to negative 90 you see now we got it lying flat but it's it's definitely flat we need to change a couple other things to get it to look right so let's go back to basic or to render settings and this we're going to change the inner position to easing and the start we're going to set at 2x and 2y and the end is also going to be 2x and 2y. So now we have the cylindrical shape. So then after that we're going to go into a basic render settings and change UV to scroll. And we're going to change the size from 0 to 256, both x and y. And the scroll speed is going to be x0 and y negative 5. Finally, we're going to add the file that comes on the website. If you look at the tutorial page, you'll see that it has a download button on chapter 6. So if you hit download, 
you can save this 601 sample file and it has the image that we're looking for to finish this tutorial. It's called scroll. So let's open that up now. And voila, we have our effect. So that's it really for chapter six. I hope you learned a few things with Effects Seer. We're gonna move on to chapter seven next. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a like. Consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.